Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today to share one of my favorite cookie recipes. I have been making these cookies for over 15 years, and they're always a hit, and they just call for a few simple ingredients. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box so that you'll have the exact measurements, but you are going to need some cream cheese and some butter, and the cream cheese and butter are softened to room temperature. You're going to need some sugar and some flour. Now, I wanted to point this out quickly because the amount of flour that you add can affect the texture of these cookies and every other thing that you may happen to bake. There's a big difference between a liquid measuring cup, which is right here, and a dry measuring cup, which is right here. Um, whenever you're measuring dry ingredients like flour, you definitely want to use a dry measuring cup and you don't want to take the measuring cup and just scoop it into the flour. You actually want to use a spoon and place the flour in the cup and then level it off with a knife because if you take the dry measuring cup and just pack it or just stick it into the container and pack the flour, you could actually end up with too much flour, which will affect the texture of whatever you're baking. So I just wanted to point that out. If you wanna see how these quick and easy cookies come together, stay tuned. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is add in my cream cheese. And I would definitely suggest using a full fat cream cheese here. You don't wanna use a light cream cheese because it may affect the texture. And I'm gonna add in my butter. Definitely wanna use butter here. Don't use margarine in this recipe. It just won't turn out the same. So I'm just going to cream this with my hand mixer until it's smooth. So my cream cheese and butter are mixed together. Next thing I'm gonna do is add in my sugar. And again, gonna mix it till it is nice and creamy. So that is nice and creamy and light as a feather. And next, I'm just gonna add in my flour a little bit at a time. All right guys, so I have everything all mixed up. You'll notice that this dough is very, very sticky. This is not a cookie dough that you can roll out. Believe me, I've tried. I've put this dough in the refrigerator and then I tried to roll it out. It just doesn't work. It's also really um, too sticky for a cookie press. These are true drop cookies. I just wanted to let you know that. It's a very, very sticky dough. All right, so I'm gonna quickly go wash my hands and I'm going to grab the cookie sheet and I will be right back. So I have my cookie sheet right here. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And all I'm going to do now is just take the cookie dough. I have a tablespoon here and a teaspoon. And I just filled up my spoon about halfway, um, I would say, with some dough. And I'm just gonna drop it off. All right, I've got all the dough in the pan. You may have to go back like I did and add a little bit of dough to some or take some away. You do want them to be even, um, like an even amount of dough so that they'll bake evenly. So I am going to pop these in the oven for about 12 minutes or until they um, start to get slightly brown around the edges. And then of course, I will bring you back and show you what they look like. So I baked up the cookies and let me show you the difference in how I baked each batch. So this is a very first batch that I baked and I forgot how much these cookies actually spread out. So instead of putting them four across, I really should have put them three across. So I ended up baking these for 15 minutes 
and my husband is here. He's gonna break open one so you guys can see the inside. And here it is. It's a really light um, cream cheesy cookie. It's very good and it's a break from the traditional sugar cookie. So the other batches I baked for 13 minutes and he's gonna show you what those look like. So we're actually a house divided here. He prefers a softer cookie like this one that I baked for 13 minutes and I prefer the crunchier cookie that I baked for 15 minutes. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.